today we are grilling eggplant. Let's trim it and peel it, creating an alternating pattern of skin and no skin. Not only will it look attractive in the finished dish, it will also make the skin a lot easier to bite. Cut it into very thick slices, about twice as thick as you want them to be after cooking. My slices are two-thirds of an inch thick, but three-quarters of an inch would have been better. So do what I say, not what I do. Now we need to salt the slices. Many recipes will advise you to do that, explaining that it draws out the bitterness. I find this rationale dubious. Salt might mask bitterness, but doesn't draw it out. And good eggplant isn't bitter anyway. The reason we salt it is to remove excess moisture and turn its texture from spongy to creamy. Go twice as heavy as you would for normal seasoning, since a lot of the salt will drip out of the eggplant with its water. I like to do this in a salad spinner, but any colander or even bowl will work. Try to arrange your eggplant vertically to help the moisture drip down. The eggplant needs to sit with salt for at least 30 minutes, but if it's more convenient, you can salt it for as long as two hours. Turn all the burners on high heat. Don't worry about the mess left over from your previous meal. We'll cover it with foil and burn it all off before grilling. The foil traps the heat, making the grate a lot hotter. This results in a cleaner grill and less sticking. You can reuse the foil many times. Cover the grill and let preheat for 15 minutes. Dump the water in the bowl and spin your eggplant. That's where the spinner comes in handy to get the drying process started. Of course, it only goes so far and you still need to press each slice thoroughly between paper towels. Don't skip this step or your eggplant will stick to the grill. Remember the glaze we made in the previous video? It's time to put it to good use. Coat each slice of eggplant in a very generous amount of glaze. Eggplant is like a sponge, so don't be surprised if it absorbs a good bit. This will give your eggplant great flavor, help it brown and reduce sticking. You know the grill is hot enough when the ash on the grate turns white. Scrape it off with the grill brush, working quickly to avoid losing the heat. Give the grate a few bangs for the ash to fall through. Pour a bit of oil into a folded paper towel. I'm doing it over the grill to avoid moving the camera, but you shouldn't. Fold the towel so that the oil is facing out and brush the grill. The more passes you make, the more non-stick the grill becomes. For meat and vegetables, a couple of passes will do, but fish and fruit can stick. So for those, I'd recommend eight times. Again, work quickly not to lose much heat and only oil the area you'll need. Arrange your eggplant on the grill and lower the heat to medium. Eggplant can easily burn on high heat. Cover the grill and wait until grill marks form, about three minutes. Carefully dislodge the slices with tongs and scrape them off the grill with a spatula if you encounter any sticking. See, it should look like this. Rotate 90 degrees for crisscross grill marks and give the slices another minute or two on this side covered. When you have beautiful grill marks, flip the eggplant over and cook until the second side browns, two to three minutes covered. This looks lovely. I've encountered more sticking with this batch than usual for a couple of reasons. After I coated the eggplant in the glaze, I had some technical difficulties with my camera, so they ended up going on the grill about 10 minutes later. This let them get a bit damp, which is not good for sticking. And cutting them a tad thicker would make them sturdier and easier to handle. But all's well that ends well. There are many ways to serve this eggplant. It is great hot or cold, in sandwiches, as a side dish, or as a spectacular first course. Top a slice of eggplant with the labne sauce from my last video. The link is below. Sprinkle with pomegranates or chopped nuts of your choice. And repeat two more times. Eggplant, labne, pomegranates. Eggplant, labne, 
pomegranates. Sprinkle with mint leaves and drizzle with pomegranate molasses. Make sure to use a squeeze bottle for this so that you don't overdo it. How cool is that? My students always comment that it looks like a dessert and is too pretty to eat. Well, I don't know about that. It is kind of cute, but I think it's even tastier than it's prettier. Next time you need a veggie burger, put a few slices of this eggplant in a bun and you'll be the envy of all the meat eaters at the cookout. Next week, we are grilling summer squash. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're ever in the Boston area, maybe I'll see you in one of my classes.